Hello friends, I welcome you all to my channel EVS EDU. Dear friends, today I am going to deliver lecture on biodiversity. Let us begin with the origin of the word biodiversity. The word biodiversity is originated from two different words. First word bio from Greek word bios meaning life and second word diversity from latin word meaning diversitas means variety or differences so the whole word biodiversity is variety of life the expression of biological diversity was first introduced by thomas lovejoy in 1980 to express the number of species present in the community. Later, the word biodiversity was coined by Walter G. Rosen in 1985. Friends, the biodiversity can be defined as full range of variety and variability within and among living organisms, the ecological complexes in which they occur and encompass different ecosystems or community diversity, species diversity and genetic diversity. You can take a look on this picture. Here are a number of organisms. These are different varieties and different varieties within different ecosystems. These are the various examples of the diversity plants, birds, animals, so on and so forth in different ecological complexes. Have a look on these pictures. Okay, let me explain it. The earth holds a vast diversity of or living organisms, which includes different kinds of microorganisms, insects, plants, and animals, etc. The earth also holds an immense variety of habitats and ecosystems. The total diversity and variability of living things and the system in which they live and become a part of it is the total variability of the life on earth. Sitting ahead, let me very briefly explain the significances of biodiversity. Biodiversity is a part of our daily lives and livelihood. It establishes the various resources such as air, water, soil, forests, minerals, wildlife, medicines, food, fodder, and almost everything etc. Upon which families, communities, nations, and future generations depend. Although our understanding regarding the Earth's organisms and its biological resources is imperfect, there is no doubt that the abundance and diversity of living organisms provide many benefits and make our world a beautiful and interesting place to live. Here is an example of various resources which biodiversity provides us at different places and different ecosystems. My dear friends, biodiversity is generally described in terms of its three fundamental hierarchically related levels of biological organizations. These three levels of biodiversity are genetic diversity, species diversity, and third one is ecosystem diversity. Let us first discuss about genetic diversity. When genes show different variations within the same species due to combinations, it is called genetic diversity. You can take a look on these pictures here. It's a picture of a maze. This maze shows variations within the grains. Some are within the colors. It is all because of this, what we are talking about, the variation within the same species due to the new combinations or genetic variation. Similarly, in the carrot, 
dogs. It includes the genetic variation within species, either that is dogs, carrot, or maize, both among geographically separated populations and among individuals within single population. With, sing with the species, there are found variety of races, which slightly differ from each other in one, two, or number of characteristics such as shape, size, quality of product, resistance to pests, insects, and disease ability to withstand diversity or withstand adverse environmental conditions, etc. These differences are due to slightly variations in their organizational genetic makeup. of this biodiversity level is species diversity. This is the variability within the population of a species or between different species as depicted in these four pictures. It includes a range of species from microorganisms to giant mammoth varieties of plants and animals. For example, single-celled virus and bacteria, etc., multicellular plants, animals, and fungi. The last hierarchical level is ecosystem diversity, or sometimes we say it's ecological diversity. This is the diversity in ecological complex city, showing variation in physical characteristics, ecological niches, trophic structures, food webs, and nutrient cycling, etc. Ecological diversity studies variations in the biological communities in which species live, exist, and interact, depending upon the abiotic resources and environmental conditions. An ecosystem develops its characteristics, living organisms. For example, a pond in an, is an ecosystem. It contains a set of flora and fauna different from a river, which is another ecosystem. These three hierarchical levels. Jitaker in 1965 said that the community diversity is are again of three types. Number one, alpha diversity. It describes the species diversity in a given community. It depends upon species richness and evenness. Second, beta diversity. It describes a range of communities due to replacement of species which arise due to the presence of different microhabitats, niches, and environmental conditions. And the third one is gamma diversity. It describes diversity of habitats over total land as landscape or geographical area. Thanks for watching this channel, EVS EDU. For more such kind of lectures, please subscribe and press the bell icon and if you have any query regarding this topic please write down in the comment section below